gentlemen. That's my 12 gauge going off right there. We are never going to submit to you, trash. We know you want to dominate and control us. You can go straight back to hell where you scum came from. So the articles on Infowars.com. I don't care if it's five people or a hundred people. When we had fifteen hundred folks down there for the open carry, defying the illegal law San Antonio had at the Alamo a few years ago, and at that amazing event, these very same people crawled out from under a rock. They had no one at their rally, but Al Jazeera, CNN, and all the enemy operatives, MSNBC, were there. We went in and hijacked their event. They blew up, made fools out of themselves. So whether 10 people or 500 show up tomorrow on short notice, tomorrow Joe Biggs will be down there at noon at UT. There's a map and an article at Infowars.com as we fight these people that are trying to literally castrate us and destroy men who have been there to defend the family and women since the beginning of this species dominating this planet on our next move towards the stars. So that's what it comes down to. We're not slaves. Our humanity continues. Paul Watson, your great guest. Go back to your caller. He was making some great points. The outrageous conspiracy against our free speech, our First Amendment, our Second Amendment. Worldwide, 1776 is rising, and I want to see folks down there tomorrow. Paul, I hope this all came through via cell phone, because I'm in the middle of nowhere. I hiked up at the top of a hill out here in 95-degree temperatures, and the rattlesnakes get this transmission to you. Did you get it? Yeah, we got it loud and clear, Alex, and that story is up on Infowars.com. Infowars announced a Second Amendment rally at UT Austin tomorrow, October 1st, 12 noon. This is going to take place at the West Mall at the University of Texas at Austin. So be sure to join in with that rally. That's tomorrow, 12 noon, University of Texas, West Mall. What it comes down to is this, Paul. They want to have it on these UT reservations, these college, police, state, anti-free speech reservations, so there can be no dissenting views. You as citizens are allowed to go there and have your views heard. So this is a flash rally. Let's add that to the uh, headline of folks countering foreign globalist banker Bloomberg money coming into Texas with Battleground Texas program to take our guns. We're going to tell them the same thing we told King George in Santa Ana. You can take it from our cold, dead hands. Great job, man. Back to the live transmission. Okay, that's Alex Jones, and be sure to attend that rally tomorrow. Back to the callers now, Sherry in Colorado. Sherry, go ahead. You're on the air. Hi, just a couple of comments and then maybe your opinion. Uh, I, tweeted sure, Alex last, uh, I tweeted Alex last night as well as Donald Trump and even Hillary Clinton. I'm German, Indian, female. I'm a woman. I'm black, and I'm a Christian. Nobody's bothered to ask me what I think. Nobody's going to tell me what to think. Nobody's going to tell me what to say. So these nasty women who say they're speaking for everyone, I don't see anybody outside of King Supers or Walmart taking polls, asking women's opinions. You know, the missing votes in California for the vaccination. I wish InfoWars would put a link. It's only, you know, 11 o'clock in California. If every student got a bulletin over the loudspeaker, have your parents go on InfoWars today and sign that link, we would make up the more than 360,000 signatures. And Alex keeps saying it's a playbook. I know what they're doing because it's a playbook. It's like a chess game. It's a move. Where are the pawns? The bishops are making their moves. They think they know what's going on, but only the king and queen know what's going on. Where are the pawns? It's a chess game. We're getting, and we've seen uh, we've seen a rise in prominence of black conservative voices and a backlash against them. What do you think about the fourteen year old? I don't know if you saw this, who basically came out with some YouTube videos criticizing Obama. The White House publicly shamed him for doing so. Do you know that story? I've seen bits and pieces of it, and I think as long as we continue to feed into the mainstream media. Like my parents, they think I'm crazy. Mom says if it doesn't show up on AP, she's not going to believe it. Well, you know, the Internet is a wonderful thing. You can Google California and see the missing lake. Now you need to know why. It's all a chess game. So if we ignore them, we're getting Boner out. We need to get McConnell out. We need to set examples for Congress and Senate. But look, if we'll go after Boner, we'll go after you. You need to vote for the people. Ron Paul needs to take off the little panties and put on big boy pants, and he needs to fight. He needs to play the chess game. He needs to get loud. He needs to get vocal. 
and he needs to get strong. I'm a single parent. There's not a whole lot I can do to support. I can't demonstrate. But I have InfoWars on my windshield and GCMAS and been driving around with it for seven months. And I tweeted everybody, I'm asking for the Lord's protection. And while I've got you real quick, and, and Alex has so many listeners, Ashua is not the name of Jesus Christ. People need to look at the Bible. They say that a million Christians or more will not go in the end. It's because they're calling for a false God. They need to call for Jesus Christ or the Messiah, not Ashua. Ashua is no different than calling for Pluto. Okay, we'll be back with more of your calls after the break. Again, it's really positive that more black conservative voices are speaking out. We had... We're back live on the Alex Jones Show. It's the final segment, but we've got the fourth hour overdrive coming up with Rob Hugh, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Rob will be taking more of your calls, but now we're going to go quick fire through these final calls. Walt in Missouri, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello, Paul. Uh, Hi, Walt. Uh, until it's recognized by our country as the Jesuit Pope, once Jesuit Pope is now calling for a new world order, the Jesuits have been after world government since 1540 for the Vatican. They've been behind all the wars in Europe and all the wars we've had to fight in our country for freedom until the Jesuits no, are identified the- as, as that force, it'll continue. Yeah, and I made a video about how the Pope has basically betrayed Christianity, betrayed Catholics, completely sold out the religion. He's now embracing the mass Muslim invasion of migrants, while Muslim imams openly call for Muslims to outbreed Western Europeans so they can impose Sharia law. So the Pope's a complete sellout. We've been banging on that for the past two weeks, and that's a good video that you can check out on that issue. Frank in Massachusetts, you're on the air. Go ahead. Well, great show. I was going to add that uh, hot on the heels of Jeremy Corbyn of the UK Labour Party uh, preaching about how Marxism is now back in style and all this pushing for Bernie Sanders, a company called Ubisoft was uh, promoting one of their games coming soon, and they were bragging about how they're integrating Karl Marx into the cast along with a transsexual character. Really? Well, why would you why would you be opposed to that? Surely that's trendy and progressive, right? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> and uh, this is also the same company that had to rework one of their games that uh, Jakari Jackson might have talked about, called Rainbow Six, where they had a Tea Party esque type of a uh, uh, group of terrorists going against the government. <clears throat> now we we've cataloged it for a while, and again. This is key because video games are the biggest grossing entertainment industry above Hollywood. That's now official. So we have to pay attention to Gamergate. People need to learn about it. It seems quite technical and obtuse from the outset, but people really need to learn about it because this is a fundamental threat to free speech because now they're going beyond video games, taking their case to the UN and saying the internet should be censored because of, quote, cyber violence which under their definition is saying, you suck. No, that's not cyber violence. That's called the first frigging amendment, and it needs to remain. The internet needs to remain as the Wild West, the final beacon of freedom as it truly is. Alex in Wisconsin, you're on the air. Go ahead, Alex. Hi. Can you hear me? Hey, go ahead. Um, Is Theodore still on the line? No, he's not, but I can answer your questions. Go ahead. All right. Well, how much do you know about the Honey Badger Brigade up in uh, Canada? I think that's, uh, is that Lauren Southern and Karen Strauhan? Uh, Yeah, uh, it's comprised of mainly female women who are avid anti-feminists, and they give talks on men's rights. And the other night... A good friend of Karen was actually um, on Tumblr, feminist in Canada, called to boycott the entire speech because they were handing out pamphlets about fake one in four statistics that are thrown around campuses 
and it ended up that they didn't know it was going to happen until the night before. So everyone... No, it's, it's amazing. We've had these um, flyers that, you know, calling someone a slut, calling a woman a slut is akin to sexual violence. We'll be back with Rob Dew. That is it for the Alex Thank Jones Show. I've been Paul Jones and Watson. Your calls with Rob Dew Visit coming up live. Stay tuned. That's right. It is the fourth hour of the Alex Jones Show. We are in overdrive. We are still live on the air. If you are listening to this via uh, YouTube or through prisonplanet.tv, the live stream, or infowars.com forward slash show, and you want to hear it on radio in your area, and they don't carry the fourth hour, call your local radio station and ask them to carry the fourth hour. If you want to see it on TV, send your local pro TV program manager or TV station owner to infowars.com forward slash moneybomb. We actually have a packet you can download there and has all the information on how to get our signal. We are launching this through satellite. Thanks to your help with the money bomb we had. Um, I guess I, I was going to say last month, but tomorrow it'll be last month. But there's the PDF right there. Got a lot of stuff we're going to cover. Uh, a lot of people send me emails about how can I get, how do I work for InfoWars or how do I get an article on InfoWars or how do I get a video on InfoWars? And I'm going to show you some ways that you can do that for people asking that question. I get a lot of that and I can't answer everybody's question, but I will give you some tips that I've learned throughout and, and things that I see that people do that I like. I'm also gonna cover Trump's tax plan and why I don't like it. And I'll get into why I don't like it. And it's not because he's lowering taxes, I'll tell you that. Uh, also, we're gonna play a trailer from a longer uh, uh, interview we played last night on the InfoWars Nightly News. And the, uh, the headline to that is survivors expose how sexual, sexual predators groom their victims. And this is two ladies who work for the SNAP network. And they talked about how they were abused as kids and how it happens and how it's boys and girls that get abused in the uh, church system. So that's something we're going to cover. And but first, I want to get to this article right here. Infowars announces Second Amendment flash rally at UT Austin. This just went up. Alex just called about it. If you were watching last hour, join the counter protest in support of the Second Amendment Thursday, October first at noon. That is tomorrow. West Mall at University of Texas in Austin. The uh, Moms Demand Action is planning their gun-free UT anti. Freedom Rally at that very location at the same time. So we need to counter their establishment propaganda with our own pro-freedom, pro-Bill of Rights, pro-Second Amendment. I added the pro-Second Amendment part and uh, and that our individual liberties are worth fighting for. So get out there tomorrow. Joe Biggs is going to be out there. We're going to have at least two of our camera guys uh, running live Skype. We'll be interviewing people. Hopefully we see a lot of people there. At this point, I am not positive if you can open carry at UT. We're looking into that. Joe Biggs is going to be on with Jakari Jackson tonight on the Nightly News to talk about that rally. And they will uh, most likely will have those answers. I've been in here, actually, uh, we call it traffic copping. If, uh, if Paul's signal was to go down, I was to jump right in. So I've been kind of standing by, reading stories, getting ready for this fourth hour of overdrive. I'm going to play a few videos, too, including one that was submitted uh, not even submitted for to play on our, our uh, show. Somebody sent it to me via Twitter. And I said, we need to put that up on InfoWars because especially with flu season coming. So we're going to get into that in the next segment. I'm also going to talk about this. It's an article that came out on the Daily Mail a couple days ago talking about how the FBI is going to start making public information about police shootings of civilians. And while that on its surface seems like a really good idea, the guy behind it, I don't like it and I don't trust him at all. And that's Eric Holder. Why is he behind it? Well, I'm going to get into that. Why he's behind all that and why it's not. I mean, well, it's a good thing we see those statistics, but the reason they're posting them is not for open, transparent government. It's for more government, more government control and to federalize the police. So we're going to get into all that. Um, let's see. Here's an article that we posted. Somebody sent me an email. I watched some of the videos and said, let's post this. So I'll get into that right now while we have this last few minutes here, or this last minute. Scientists discover health breakthroughs from Russian space program. All right, and we're going to get more into that about the Russian space program and what it could tell us about our health. Because Russians were sending astronauts into space and they were coming back very healthy. Our astronauts are coming back on stretchers. And there is a reason why. It's because they were really concerned about the health of their astronauts. So we'll get into all that and more. 
It's the fourth hour overdrive of the Alex Jones Show. I'm your host, Rob Dew. 